probably not turn a, turn a well, I guess we have turned the corner because we're winning more games. But I think uh, the best things are actually improving, and that's what we're focused on doing. Um, I think I said before, we, we, the reality is we can't look further than a, a week in advance. So we're not we're not in that position. We don't have that luxury. So at the minute, it's about improving, and we're slowly doing that. Oh, yeah, I don't uh, I don't think you. I got although you probably prepare for it a little bit about you know what are the, the chances of us you know maybe losing a few on the trot or having the start that we did, um, but it's definitely been hard, especially uh, the standards we've set in the past in the last couple of years and. Uh, we all set out to, to be successful and win, win games, and we haven't been doing that. So it has been disappointing and, and hard in that respect. Yeah. Oh, we've we've had areas that we need to or that we've focused on and identified that we need to improve. Um, and yeah, and a little bit about changing our attitude and a mental approach towards the game. Um, so it's just a, it's just a few things that we have focused on, but it's been nothing uh, specific or one one key area. Key area. Yeah, as I'll see a spring in our steps a little bit more. As I said, uh, no one likes losing and. Uh, yeah, we've set high standards in, in the past and when you're not uh, reaching those, it is disappointing, but certainly to get a few wins on the board obviously livens the place up and, and makes it a, a better place to be. Oh, I think we, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no reason why we can't. Um, but as I said at the minute, although uh, I guess that's a bigger picture about closing the gap, but at the minute we're just trying to focus on ourselves and where we can improve and so, so we're identifying areas that we need to um, and I guess to close that gap between us and I guess the top four teams at the minute because they are a standout. So. Yeah, no doubt, and they've uh, the moment they walked in the door, they've had had an impact at the club, and not only they've uh, debuted this year, but as I said, they've had an impact as the minute they walked in, and it's been a while since we have had that, uh, taking nothing away from the last three, or four years and the draftees, but um, they've re- had a real impact, and I think at one stage people said we got we don't have a lot of talent coming through the do- through the door, but I think with uh, the debutants that we've showed, there's there's a lot of promise and future with, with this footy club. It's a credit to themselves and how much character they have shown. Um, because again, there's the people that, that have written them off at the start of the season, and um, but us as a club, we knew we knew that they weren't going anywhere. Their personnel might have changed by a couple of players, but um, yeah, they definitely uh, showed a lot of character and respect them. And we've had some great battles with them in the past, and I'm sure it'll be the same on the, on the um, weekend. The reality is, when I was talking in terms of players looking towards the future, I was I was referring to what's happened in the past and, and recently with Gold Coast and you know, Nathan Bock and I guess Gary Abler didn't rule out that, you know, they thought about their futures in footy. Um, but yeah, it's I guess it, it's raised a few eyebrows but at no no point in yeah, we, am I looking too far ahead or at the at the position I'm in now with the footy climb sign until the end of next year and um, and I'll, I'll I'll cross that bridge when I, when I get to it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy here and I'm contracted at the end of next year and I hope my future lies here uh, forever. I'm, you know, I love the footy club and, and and as I said, I've given everything I can to this footy club and they've given everything back and I, I want that uh, relationship to continue.